Hey, what's up guys? Um, so in this video, I'm going to take you through how to set up Saga. Um, and so we're here in Tabletop Simulator, and this is uh, assuming that you've already downloaded uh, my Saga uh, saved objects folder um, from my drive and have um, dropped it into your saved objects folder for Tabletop Simulator. <clears throat> and so for, let's just assume we're doing a single player campaign. Um, so for your objects, we're going to set this up as the DM, and then we'll just drop a player here. So the different things you're going to need is a few different few different things here. So the loot deck. So this is the loot deck here. Um, we're going to need the Saga enemy weapons. So these are all the weapons that the enemies um, can draw from. Uh, we're going to need these Saga tokens, so you'll encounter these from time to time within the, this uh, Saga. So this is the main Saga here. This is the Saga Volgras Dungeon Path of Fortune. So we're going to take this one, we're going to set it here, and then we're going to need all of the enemy hero decks. So there's five of them, right? So um, all five of these down here. Uh, I keep these kind of outside the board game state just because you're not always going to be interacting with each one. Um, at different times, you're going to interact with different ones. And so I just kind of keep them set off to the side of whenever I uh, you know, need to interact with it, I'll drag it over to my hero slot and just drop the whole deck in. Um, and then let's just assume that we're I'm not going to set... Yeah, we'll probably set him. Let's Let's set our hero. <clears throat> so let's just set him real quick. Let's assume that, uh, you know, you're the DM here and your friend, you're playing with your friend for a solo campaign. So let's get him set. So let's just assume this is the beginning of the game here. Here's your guardian. Uh, we're going to choose a Nothos. Now you can swap in and out of this equipment whenever you want. Um, and anything that you don't use, um, you get an additional slot that's, you can either keep it on the board or off the board. I like keeping it off the board since it's not really being used at the time. It's going to be your armory slot. Uh, so I chose that name just based off of name that already exists in the game. Um, just to try to keep it thematic. And so this is going to be your armory slot. Let's just assume we're putting it here off to the side. So these are all the items that we're not going to be using. Um, and we can swap in and out of these whenever we want as we end face, you know, enemy encounters and stuff. Um, let's see, what do we need? Um, I like usually just, you can, like I said, you can always swap out the equipment here, but let's just, let's just set it up for the sake of things. Uh, we're not going to use the Null Rune because we want to use Helm of Eisen's Peak. We're not going to use the Robe. Uh, we're not going to use the, the uh, boots. So we're going to want the chest plate, the feet, Gauntlet will move over here, and then we're going to have our Helm of Eisen speak. So we have our one class specific. We have one Arcane Barrier. Um, I think it's typically fair to either do one or two Arcane Barrier type items. Of course, as you face enemy heroes, you'll know whether or not they can have Arcane abilities. So if you have enemy heroes with Arcane abilities, you're probably going to want to focus on Arcane. You might want one anyway, just because they have access to Wizard cards or Rune Blade cards that deal Arcane damage. Um, yeah, and then we have our two iron rot plates that can defend for regular damage, plus our Helm of Eyes and Speak. And then we have our 20 card starting deck. So our starting deck would go over here just as it would. Um, we can shuffle it now, we can shuffle it before the encounters that we would face, whatever. So this is what your hero setup would look like um, for you know basically each encounter and for the game, just as it normally would Game of Flesh and Blood. Um, and you have the cards that we're not using that are set off to the side just as it was. Um, but we're, we're calling it the armory here because you're going to end up looting cards throughout the game that you might not want um, and that you might want to keep over here, you know, in your armory slot or uh, whatever. So um, I like setting the saga over here um, and just kind of flipping through it this way just to kind of keep sort of off to the side but still on the game. Our loot deck kind of can go anywhere. I typically keep it, um, I guess, off to here above this and it'll be shuffled as well. Uh, tokens you can either keep on or off. I, I, I usually just keep them under here. Um, and then your enemy weapons you can always keep on here, because basically whenever you encounter an enemy, or we, we get like a random enemy from one of these decks, you know, we're going to flip it, we're going to randomize it, and we're going to flip it back over. That's what, that's what the weapon that the enemy would start with. 
<laughs> so if you were facing, let's say, like a uh, no regular enemy hero encounter, right? I'd shuffle through it, I'd flip, and then I'd shuffle through this, and I'd flip. And so you would be facing the Guardian here, and the Guardian is wielding the Plasma Barrel Shot. Um, if you ever uh, encounter, let's say we encountered right a, uh, a one-handed weapon, a Centauri Saber, we would move that weapon off over here, and then we would randomize for another one-handed. Um, and so we already had a Zephyr Needle, so we'll keep that. If it was, let's just say it was a Romping Club, which is two-handed, we would have to just randomize that until we got a one-handed weapon. Um, which would be not that. <laughs> there we go, Manimal Claw. Uh, so, so there's our two one-handed weapons, just to give some balance. Um, you know, if uh, not really too fair if you just spawn with a one-handed weapon there. So, but uh, yeah, that's uh, this is basically the setup of the game um, in this version of the campaign. That's typically the only breakdown of the cards you're gonna have. You're gonna have your saga, which is gonna include the entire saga, your tokens. Uh, your your enemy hero decks and your uh, weapon deck and then uh, the uh, the player the player deck over here so that's the setup and the uh, um what's it called oh you know what before I let's let's add our life counter to it um, and so the diff the uh, the different thing too here or one of the different things I guess about uh, saga is that the life the starting life is going to be different depending on how many players right. Um, so the allied team gets a total of 80 health divided by the number of players, right? So in a single campaign, Bravo here would get to start with 80 health. So you're probably like, wow, that sounds like a lot. Your health is constant throughout the entire campaign. So if I lose um, life, that's life that I've lost throughout the entire campaign, right? So if I start my first enemy encounter and I go down to 77, I have 77 life left. For the campaign unless I find a way to gain life right so let's say I loot Sigil of Solace or something every time I play it I get to gain more life and that is permanent life um, but if I don't have any ways then that's all the life I have left throughout the encounter um, if I had two players it'd be 40 life per player if I had three it's 27 80 divided by three rounded up um, so three players actually gain like one additional life whatever and uh, then 20 life for four players and so, um, yeah, that's uh, that's the starting life difference, and just the philosophy there is that you're going to be playing over the course of a lot of uh, encounters here, and so life is pretty pretty important to preserve. Um, yeah, that's the uh, that's the setup there. Um, in the next video, I'm going to take us through playing some of the campaign, and uh, I'm going to add an additional player slot here too, so I can explain one of the other features of Saga. That's cool. Uh, yeah, so. That'll do it for this one. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.